Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're all doing great. Today, I'm bringing you another recap of the last few days of XR News. And we have a few interesting pieces to talk about today. So, as usual, I'm Mystical, and if you like this one, slap that red button down below, and let's get right into it. So, first things first, Meta is finally offering a warranty service for your quest. However, it's not exactly what you might think it is. Let me explain. Meta's new Warranty Plus adds two years of accidental damage coverage for the Quest 2 and the Quest Pro. Meta now offers a Warranty Plus program covering two years of accidental damage to either your Quest 2 or Quest Pro. The program is roughly $60 for a new Quest 2 or $160 for the Quest Pro, and can be added from Meta.com within the first 60 days of purchasing either headset in the United States. So nothing for us in Europe just yet, but for you people in the United States, you can protect your Quest, and hopefully, just in case something does happen to it, at least you'll be covered. Meta even offers the program for refurbished Quest 2 headsets purchased from authorized resellers, priced around $55. Quote, Life happens. Protect your headset and in-box accessories against accidental drops, spills, and more, Meta says. Out of the box, Quest headsets include a one-year warranty of limited coverage, and that does not extend to accidental damage. The program moves offerings one step closer to companies like Apple, which offers the Apple Care Plus program to help cover the repair of damaged iPhones, iPads, and other devices. So, in case you are one of those people that buys accidental coverage for your devices, which, you know, I would buy for basically any more expensive item that I own, because, again, life happens. Well, you can now do that as long as you're in the United States. Anywhere else, we don't have it just yet. But knowing Meta, it'll come everywhere else sometime in the future. Let me know what you think about this one down below. Is this something you're interested in, and is it something you're going to be getting? Let's move on to the next piece of news. VR mods. Mods that make flat screen games or 2D games work in virtual reality. Recently, we've been getting more and more of them, and they've been working incredibly well. Multiple of them even with controller support. Well, Flat 2 VR announced on Twitter that an upcoming Final Fantasy 14 VR mod is coming. The extremely talented modders, Marulu and Street Rat, who worked on Half-Life 2 VR, have been working on a full 6 off VR mod for one of the best MMOs, Final Fantasy 14. The mod will support first and third person, motion controls, and more. The alpha is releasing soon. I know for a fact that Final Fantasy was one of those games that a lot of people played. I personally never really played it, but I know that when it comes to VR, I'll certainly be trying it out. This is going to be a very exciting time as more and more of these mods for flat screen 2D games are coming out. And while there aren't always something that I would recommend to a beginner VR player, as they are mods, they're not officially made, a lot of them really are quite fleshed out and made work really, really well. And they are something that I would say is basically just as good as the base game. But let me know your opinions on this one down below. I actually know that a lot of people straight up are quite against putting 2D games in VR, but I'd love to hear your opinions. Talking about new games, the co-op VR stealth action game Aspire 2 releases on the Quest 2 later this month. Co-op VR stealth action game Aspire 2 is headed to the Quest 2 later this month, with a pre-order discount starting today. A new developer diary video shows the latest in the game's developments. Developer Digital Load today announced that its upcoming co-op VR stealth action game Aspire 2 is set for a release date on November 17th. The game is also compatible with the Quest Pro, but not with the original Quest. Aspire 2 is available for pre-order today, offering a 10% discount off the full $30 price. Aspire 2 is the second entry in the series, but the first which includes co-op for up to two players. The studio says the co-op mode is a separate campaign that bridges the gap between Aspire 1 and Aspire 2. However, it sounds like the game's primary campaign won't support co-op. Aspire 1 is actually a game I played on PC VR, and the graphics were actually really, really nice. I don't entirely remember the storyline or the campaign, but I do remember I was quite impressed with the graphics. So I am going to be awaiting Aspire 2 coming to the quest, and hopefully checking it out. But let me know your opinions on this one down below. Have you played Aspire 1, and is Aspire 2 something you're interested in? And once more, another game. This one, something that a lot of people are going to know. 
Stranger Things is coming to VR in 2023 from Netflix and Tender Claws, something I totally didn't expect. Stranger Things VR is coming in late 2023, with one of VR's most innovative development studios making the game in collaboration with Netflix. Tender Claws is developing and publishing Stranger Things VR in partnership with series writers to explore Henry Creel's transformation into the villain Vecna. The game is described as featuring psychological horror and action from the never-before-seen perspective of Vecna as he explores unknown realities, forms the hive mind, and enacts his plan for revenge against Eleven and Hawkins. Stranger Things VR is coming to major VR platforms in late 2023 and was revealed in a trailer premiering on YouTube today. So while it's not coming anytime soon, it does seem to be a rather large title, with both Tender Claws, who are the creators of virtual virtual reality, and Netflix being involved, which is quite a large duo. And people love telling me that we don't have enough of these large titles coming from these large studios, some AAA games coming out. Hopefully, this is the beginning of something good. Two pretty well-known studios working on something together, hopefully producing a larger scale title for people to enjoy on the quest. And hopefully, it only continues going up from here. I am quite excited for it, even though, once again, it doesn't seem to be coming anytime soon. But let me know what you think down below, and which game or movie or whatever you would like to see in VR next. Now, let's move on to Apple. Apple is developing an AR and VR headset, just in case you didn't know, and they reportedly have three thousand people working on this upcoming headset. Apple has around 3,000 people working on its upcoming AR and VR headset, the information reports. But the report states Meta's Reality Lab division has more than five times as many people working on Quest, AR glasses, and associated software. That apparently includes roughly 1,100 people working on Quest, 1,900 on content, 2,000 on AR, 1,000 on machine learning, 1,000 developing custom chips, and 2,400 people in the research team. According to recent public filings, Apple employed approximately 164,000 people in September of this year, while Meta had 87,314. Each company is in a very different stage of the build-out, with Apple operating globally, including a large footprint of retail stores and already developing its own chips. Meta, meanwhile, has opened its first store, as the company partners with Qualcomm for chips and headsets. So they are in two completely different stages, but I still find it really impressive that a company like Apple has 3,000 people working on a VR headset. Even though according to stats, it is still a rather small number of the amount of people that they actually employ. But we do know that they are only in the beginning stages, and hopefully this number does grow as they move on. And Meta might have more, but they are sort of deeper into the game. So I am interested to see that number grow for Apple as they move into to the next stage of production or creation or whatever they're on right now. But let me know your opinions down below. I know a lot of people are going to be interested in the Apple VR headset and a lot of people are just not going to be interested whatsoever since it is a device that, well, is probably going to cost a lot and will probably only work with Apple devices. I myself don't own any Apple devices, so I don't know how that would work. But I guess we're going to have to wait and see. And just a few notes of mention, the new Stonks cookie body tracking demo has come out. So Stonks is going to be another alternative for a full body tracking for you guys. We have a rough price estimate and an Indiegogo launch campaign date. So in case that's something you're interested in, I'll leave a link to their Discord and the tracking demo down below. It does seem quite impressive. They've gone from having these large reflective cookies to now having these standalone devices that can be both beacon tracked and not beacon tracked. So I feel like they've come a long way and it is getting quite impressive. But I'll let you decide that for yourself down below. And also the Pimax Crystal. A lot of people seem to think we haven't talked about it or we haven't seen the headset. We actually have a full live stream reacting to it live right up here in case that's something you're interested in. But the Pimax Crystal, a standalone device launching from Pimax that is going to have some pretty damn nice specifications. It's going to have interchangeable lenses, interchangeable batteries, and a full Ygig system for PC VR. Again, if you want to see the full specifications and our reaction to the project, check it out right up here. Other than that, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down in the comment section below.
thank you so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, paying my bills, paying my subscriptions, and helping me make these videos better. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below, and check out our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spice memes. And as usual, if you want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.